The creation of an European air traffic control facility was of a far-reaching vision, which could only be achieved with the extraordinary devotion of all the people from all member countries. Our people were ready to develop and accept new technologies and new operational concepts. That has never been a problem in Maastricht. Quite the opposite, really. The Maastricht UEC people have always understood that they were contributing to a major and unique project. And on many occasions, they have shown that they are leaders and not just followers. The pioneering spirit of the founding years still prevails. Muak staff are strong believers in cross-border multinational service provision. And our motto, passionate about performance, truly represents the attitude of Muak staff. Muak's adaptability and inventiveness have always been great assets for the member states, for the network and for aviation as a whole. What describes best the Muak staff is their continuous search for innovation and their unparalleled professional passion. Since the beginning, they have never stopped imagining, designing and implementing new ideas, shaping parts of the future air traffic management system. Our four member states and our headquarters have always been supportive of that spirit and I really want to thank them for that. So it was in 1964 that Eurocontrol took the decision to organize a cross-border air traffic control service for the upper airspace in the Benelux countries as well as in Germany. On February the 29th in 1972, we welcomed the first aircraft in the upper airspace over Belgium, which was controlled from the facility in the Netherlands. And that was the first step of what we now call a single European sky. It took us quite some political effort before we were able to realize this visionary concept. In 1974 we integrated the upper airspace over northern Germany. In 1975 we welcomed the German military controllers which led us to an extraordinary civil military coordination. It took us quite a number of years more before it was possible to integrate the Amsterdam controllers in 1986. During this period there were many firsts in the Maastricht UAC. For instance, a digital radar display, a multi-radar tracking facility, and last but not least a short-term conflict alert function which is now in worldwide use. All these functions were instrumental for us in order to cope with the increasing traffic in the 1980s. From 85 to 95, traffic increased with a factor of 2.4. Like the rest of Europe, we were also confronted with a lack of handling capacity, delays and congestion. Everybody was trying to deliver more capacity with traditional means. But those days were over. We had to look for new ways. Electronic strips were introduced in 1992. We developed a means to feed more radars in our multi-radar tracking system. This increased the capacity and the range. Data links started to be used. These developments followed from the belief that without new and innovative technology, we would not be able to handle the ever-increasing traffic. At the same time, we launched a challenging program to extend the building. A new operations room and a new operational display system. Without this new infrastructure, we would not have been able to make it. Our first business plan was introduced in 1996. And this was an important development as it showed that our activities were gaining more business focus. 
with clear objectives, with a clear strategy and key performance indicators to monitor our performance. The transformation of air traffic management had started. Also in 1996, the group of senior officials of the four states and Eurocontrol recommended the introduction of free route airspace to cope with the ever-growing traffic demand. At the end of the 90s, traffic continued to pick up. In December 1998, for the first time, we recorded our 1 million flight, quite a milestone for the Maastricht UEC. The move to the new ops room in 2002 was a real quantum leap. The advanced operational display system was designed to help controllers work more safely, more efficiently, with the most modern tools to cope with dense traffic in the core area of Europe. But we were already looking at the next big step, a new flight data processing system. The project was very complex, but we finally managed to introduce the very first interoperable trajectory-based flight data processing system in 2008. With a new FTPS, we wanted to go forward, faster and further. Besides safety, our focus was more than ever on performance. We had the international concept, we had the cross-border sectors, we had the experience. What we needed was an even more advanced technology and yet another innovative approach to ATM. Thanks to new FTPS, we have been able to introduce the first phases of free route airspace in high density Europe. In the meantime, the free route airspace concept is becoming a cornerstone of the fabric airspace strategy. Today, MUAC handles more than 1.5 million flights per year safely with minimum amount of delay and at good value for money. No wonder, therefore, that MUAC stands out between the most performant NSPs in Europe. In 10 years' time, traffic had gone up by 35%. Also, airspace complexity had dramatically increased. So, more than ever before, it became essential to work closely with our partners. So, when the Royal Netherlands Air Force started to use the MUAC system for their military operations in 2013, a new era of civil military cooperation and system integration had begun. For the first time, military controllers used the data generated by MUAC in Maastricht for military operations in the upper and lower airspace and for approach at various locations across the Netherlands. Now this first shared ATS system delivered gains in safety, efficiency and economies of scale for all partners. The concept of data centers had seen the light of day and the second shared ATS system was already in the making. 2017 was another remarkable year. By then we were no longer talking about civil military cooperation but integration. That year Germany and the Netherlands entrusted MUAC with military service provision in their upper airspace. This integration made of MUAC the very first European cross-border civil military air navigation service provider. Meanwhile, extended cross-border arrival management was successfully deployed. The idea was to slow down inbound traffic to save fuel, reduce emissions and the time spent in holding patterns around large airports. This was the result of a remarkable cooperation between various air navigation service providers, airlines and airports. The transition towards greener aviation had started, but more was yet to come. The decarbonation of aviation has started and we are actively supporting it. Ensuring safe, efficient but also sustainable operations 
are and have to be our main goals in the 21st century. The introduction of full free route airspace in 2019 was key to prepare for the ecological transition. Horizontal and vertical flight efficiency have become more essential than ever before. More recently, researchers and air traffic managers launched the world's first life operational trial on contrail prevention. You are taking a close look at the effects on non-CO2 emissions on global warming. The aviation industry is complex. Team spirit and partnerships are essential if we want to understand and serve our customers as well as we can. For many years, we have been cooperating closely with our civil and military partners to develop shared ATS systems in support of the single European sky. After the implementation of the first shared ATS system with the Royal Netherlands Air Force, we deployed a second one with the Belgian Air Defence. Plans for a third one and more are ready. Sadly, for over two years, the COVID-19 pandemic has hitting hard all actors of the aviation industry. It was distressing to see empty skies, but we managed to use this unprecedented pandemic period smartly and invested in new airspace design projects, unique customer services, remote training and automation and digitalization. We also supported our military partners, developed efficient controller checkouts in the simulator and green trajectories. The word impossible does not exist in MUAC's vocabulary. For several years, we have been investing in our identity and direct values. Diversity and inclusion, integrity, responsibility, excellence, courage, and teamwork. These attributes are our DNA and the ability to reinvent and use opportunities is the very essence of MUAC. Maastricht UAC has always been able to provide excellent cooperation with the ATC organizations in the four states and in the core area of Europe. Our operations at Maastricht have shown that it is easier, safer and more efficient to handle traffic in a borderless airspace. MUA proves that national thinking, national boundaries can be overcome to the benefit of the European ATM network. So let us create a true single European sky. Airspace is a finite resource which must be used efficiently. In less than five decades, MUAC became a remarkable international civil military organization. This could not have materialized without political will and the extraordinary dedication of MUAC staff. There are amazing opportunities ahead of us in terms of international cooperation. Together with our partners, we can and will make air traffic management more efficient, more resilient and above all, more sustainable. We had a dream for a European air traffic management. Maastricht UAC is our first child and it has perfectly stood the test of time. Happy anniversary, Maastricht!